So Scott, you've been involved in the club for the past two weeks. Are there any uh, updates or changes within the club you'd like to share with the supporters? Yeah, sure. We've um, we've been working really hard over the last sort of two two and a half weeks now to um, on an internal restructure. Uh, we've been going through a very difficult process in house, but. Uh, moving people around um, and just trying to get um, the staffing levels right and also key people in key positions. So it's been really busy um, and hopefully uh, you'll see the uh, the outcome of that over the next weeks and months really. Cool and you've also mentioned in your press notes about the, your engagement in the local community. Is there any update on how that's progressing? It's progressing well. We've, we've put some plans in place now which we're going to launch uh, next week uh, which, is, which is a initiative into primary schools. Um, we've, we've, we've got some great sponsors on board now and we're going to be launching uh, coaching sessions and uh, giveaways, sort of footballs and stuff into schools. We've also created a t-shirt. We're, we're, we're in effect looking for the the next generation in Glover's supporters and hopefully players. Um, so it's it's a it's a it's a fantastic initiative, um, and um, I'm looking forward to being involved in that and launching it um, next week. Cool. And uh, also as well, we received the very sad news on the uh, passing of uh, Martin Baker, the founder of Cider Space, the other day. Uh, are there any thoughts or messages you'd like to share on the club's behalf? Well, it's one of the few times really that I've um, had a look into social media and had a look at the posts and. Uh, it's, it's obviously clear that he's very much loved and will be very much missed um, by by the Yeovil Town community and, and football club. Um, it's just it's terrible news, really. Um, I know a lot of a lot of supporters um, used Cider Space as a um, as a fan library for information, and um, he's going to be missed by all. It's it really is a sad occasion. Mm. And uh, heading back to football on the field, how happy are you at the moment with the uh, team's progress? I think it's going well. We're definitely going in the right direction. Um, obviously, it's been a bit frustrating. I know supporters will, will feel that over the last few weeks where we've gone on such a great run and we've had a couple of uh, bad performances which have ended up in poor results. But at the end of the day, these things happen in football. We're winning more than we're losing. We're in a great position in the league. Um, supporters are coming back. It's great to see that attendances have picked up, um, and and long may that continue. We're doing a lot of changes now um, in house to to make the the match day experience better. Um, but I think the the entertainment on the pitch is good. Uh, it's obviously frustrating last week and last result, but we've got the FA Cup coming up now, which I'm personally very excited about. Um, on a personal note, I've never actually won an FA Cup tie as a player, so I'm hoping to uh, to do it as a chairman. But no, I'm really excited. I'm taking my um, my granddad to the game on Saturday. He's, he's 90 next year and lives in that part of the world. So I'm I'm really looking forward to Saturday, and uh, I hope we'll have a, a really good away support that we've had in recent weeks and months. It's been fantastic. So I hope that continues. Great, and also to finish, uh, the question on everyone's mind at the moment, do you think we're going to finish top or are we going to be a possible trip to Wembley? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think we just keep playing good football. I mean, I, I, it's so tight in the league and let's be honest, There's at the moment there's there's probably seven or eight teams you know that think they can, they can win the league and I think it's that open. So we've just got to keep winning games and keep competing and playing like we have been playing over the last, two or three months and we've definitely been with the show. Cool. And any players' performances at the moment that you're really happy with at the moment on the field? All of them. I I'm honestly genuinely mean that. I think the guys are working really well together as a team. Um, my kids like Alcock but he's not played. He's, he's, he's been injured, keeps getting injured but it's uh, well, my kids absolutely love Alcock for some reason. I think it's because it's number two but um, no, I, I think that the, all the lads have, are, are doing us proud at the moment and I, and I know that they've, they've brought some entertainment back to the supporters and while we get frustrated with a couple of bad results, I, I generally think the guy's going in the right direction.